It's Natalie Shellshocks live from the scene. Today we are we are doing a mockumentary on Sister Island. I brought my passengers along. The major architect and some not archaeologist and scientist Daniel Herbert brought him with me, along with the wildlife expert Teresa. Teresa Holland. Let's start our journey. This is our assistant for this journey is called Margot Storyworth. She is helping us with our journey today. To begin our wild journey, we're putting on the waterproof boots so we can go wading in the big water. This is a very tedious process, having to do it multiple times with all the passengers on this journey. Our other passengers are among the island on the other side of the bank. There is many holes, uh, uh, little homes and rocks. Many, many rocks of homes of animals and birds that we've never seen before. To begin our journey, we're starting on the beach. There is many sand things here. It's all covered in lots of sand and plants we've never seen before. For example, the wild plant that we are going to name the po- cockapur plant, for it sounds like a rooster in the wind. We're talking straight from the archaeologist and scientist Daniel Herbert Bottom. What do you have to say about these creatures and the sand forms? I think we're in for a real treat. Uh, this is something that hasn't been seen since the dawn of mankind. So I think what we'll find today will be earth-shattering and re- may rewrite write the fossil record. Yes, well, when we hired you, were you scared on this journey? Yes, there's been a lot of legends lore about what we've encountered on this trip. I think maybe it's a bunch of uh, nonsense, but we're going to find out together. Yes, we will. The water is very dirty here. And it probably has many wildlife, which is why next we're talking to Teresa Holland. Teresa, what do you think about this? What inhabitants do you think are living in this water? I think it's an incredibly diverse ecosystem, fit for a geographic documentary. So far in the water, we've seen a small minnow, who I expect is a fish. Who knows what else could be in the depths? That's what we're here to find out today. Oh, wow. here. Some prints of animal deer, I think. They must come down here to drink. Hey, what a fascinating creature. Our wildlife expert says that these are from the one and only species, the royal deer. And they're almost extinct, and they're very, very rare. It's the only type of deer that can drink from such muddy waters. There is many wild inhabitants in this, like what we have found a wild bald eagle. This is a very hard journey to get to the island because the water is so deep we'll need, need very many cruise ships, kayaks, and canoes. We have named this island Sister Island, for it has many rocky shores along with grassland. There are many waters here, along with many different types of rocks and plants. The grasses are so interesting, and there will be so many different types of wildlife we have found. Wildlife that we will find. It's not... What is it? These have been around for so long that we have not. You recognize these realize rocks, how far Scientist back Daniel? Go. Oh yes, these must. This must predate our known civilization. I would say it's got to be at least, at least twenty to twenty-five thousand years old. You can just see it. I don't know where else you'd find anything like this. Next up on Sister Island, we are exploring the many 
the many waterfalls and such. We have come up on this almost alluvial fan type of structure. There's many rushing waters and probably well, many habitants. Teresa, what type type of uh, inhabitants do you think will be living on this alluvial fan? Well, I'm suspecting quite a few fro- frogos, or as the scientific term, Mr. M- Monsieur Frogo. Uh, or is Frogos? Or I've never heard of that. Mr. Frogo. They're quite fabulous little beasts. They can jump six directions at once. They're what about in the water? Sideways. In the water, they are partially elegant. They're semi aquatic. Not even the frogos, as you call it. What kind of inhabitants do you think live in these waters? Yes. Before we go on to start this long, tedious journey up ahead, we must say our farewells. Our farewells. Farewell. We're starting our long, tedious journey ahead, and frankly, we can't see what is ahead. No, really, we can't see what's ahead because the grass. It's what? Uh, a rock nest, and it's quite hairy. Oh dear. It's a very rare species that I've learned. Very rare. Very rare to see one out of two I have something to show you. There are rocks on the sand and sand on the rocks. There's rocks in the water. Amazing. These jungles are so many. They're too thick to stand. Remnant of the great fortress on the island of Crete. Three I believe the Minotaur once lived here in the labyrinth built. This is all the remains of the great labyrinth that Theseus conquered. Oh, so many eons ago. Finally, we're on our destination. I'm naming this Leonardo Falls. We decided there was no way across, but through. The farther north you went, the falls were too deep and so treacherous. Look at this Cockaburr Island. Daniel, what? what do you think about this? I think it's very. Call around and show them how many cockroaches. We are naming this Cockaburr Island. Crew, what do you think of this? We were journeying along, and we found this in the cliffside. A car. Are you trying to get that one? What do I do? Oh. Although extremely beautiful, this journey has had many perils. The river and the sand cliffs. <laughs> Our mockumentary was very difficult. But in the end, we prevailed. And 
the experience and wisdom. Was worth it. Yeah. We traveled across many treacherous parts on our expedition, but nothing was more dangerous than the river with the sand cliffs, as Natalie found out firsthand. Farewells. Live at the. You'll see. Yeah, that was good. What do I do? Oh. <gasps> Daniel Herbert bottom. Look at this. There's something under it. What is it? You're the archaeologist, so you must know. Here it is. Be careful. Be careful. Listen. What is it, a smiley face? Oh dear. Stop.